After 30 days of one pound of sugar per day, I'm going to a lab to check my blood. The lab took a sample of my blood and I will have the results today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. It was not very clear. Um, and now I'm going to buy some fruit juice or some something sweet because I want to run back to my place. This morning I paid 50 bahts for the taxi and I paid also 870 bahts for the blood test. That's more than a few meals worth. All I'm doing for you guys, I'm doing too much I think. <laughs> I received this by email, you can see my glucose, my blood sugar is in range. Uh -huh. Uric acid is normal, cholesterol is normal, HDL, HDL, total protein, albumin, globulin are all in range. Again, the triglycerides are high. And, oops, next page. Total bilirubin, bilirubin, and direct bilirubin in range, and the other liver test factors are all in range too. As you can see, my triglycerides are slightly high. Look at this study. There's a very interesting sentence here. Triglyceride levels are relatively high in certain third world societies which are virtually immune to coronary disease so long as they persist in their traditional very low fat diets. In Ornish's celebrated study, a moderate rise in triglycerides coincided with a marked reduction in coronary events. Conclusion, don't freak out if your triglycerides are slightly high and if your diet is very low in fat because if your other values are in range, then you're not at risk of cardiovascular events. Post-run breakfast with purple and white dragon fruits and some nice mangoes. I think the mangoes are back in season. It just tastes like a handful of mud. No, it's not true. Is it nice? Yeah. I loved it. I have it. I had it several times. Okay, I'm gonna go for that one then. Yeah. A vegan platter. Wow. <laughs> and vegan burger with cheese. Vegan cheese.
noodles and tomatoes cooked at home. Wow.